All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of House Flipper 2. I am your host, Renovate. Guys, we are going into sandbox mode. That's right. So I I have to admit, I went in and I wanted to see how it worked. And uh, I played with it for about two hours. And there was one thing that I couldn't figure out how to get to work. And it was stretching windows. And I had to get on the internet and figure out how to do that. And then eventually I figured it out. So it's pretty cool. Um, we are going to do it in the woods, I believe. I think that'd be better. And then I want a large lot. So and we're going to name this. Uh, let's name this. Uh, man, what should we name it? First home? <laughs> let's name this. Um, let's just name this one Forest Ranch. All right. Forest Ranch. All right. So there we go. We're going to do this here. And we're going to click Create. So here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> I got a big old lot. Hopefully it's big enough for the house we're going to build. It looks like it will be. And uh, I guess you can edit the terrain on here. So, and that's going to be important because this house has a basement, but it has a very unique basement. All right. So I'm going to throw up on the uh, screen uh, the first floor plan. And it's about a 3,100 square foot ranch. And then uh, I'm going to show you the basement floor plan as well. And the reason I wanted to show you this is because this house does have a basement, but it's called a mid-level walkout. And basically what that is, is that you don't walk out of the basement at the basement level. You kind of walk out it in between, right? And we'll be able to manipulate the train. I haven't manipulated the train on here, so I'm not too sure. I just kind of want to see how this works. So, um, oh, that's interesting. Now, how do you get it to go back down? Oh, check it out. Okay. Well, let's do intensity. Let's turn the intensity down. <laughs> and radius is fine. All right. So let's go, let's turn it back down. Oh, that's freaking cool. All right. And then I can do what? What is this? Smooth? Um, click. Oh, nope. Uh, what does that button do? So I'm guessing that just levels it. Is that what it's doing right now? Is it leveling it? It looks like it's leveling it. Yep, that's a leveling tool. Okay, cool. All right, so we'll be able to do this. Okay, so basically how this is going to get built then, we're going to build the house literally from basement up, okay? And that's going to be kind of funky <laughs> for me because I don't really design it like this and we haven't built anything like this. So I don't know how many episodes this is going to be, but hopefully we'll get this We'll get this working. This is going to be a, a, a new one for me. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to, I'm going to get my floor plan uh, blown up real, real large on my other screen so I can see what the dimensions were because I don't I designed this house like two years ago. Um, and then we'll we'll go from there. The only issue that I'm going to have, though, is the house is going to be really different because uh, the blocks in the game are eight inches wide. Right. And our our studs like in our uh, typical house interior walls are like two by fours, which are actually three and a half inch. Or a two by six, which is five and a half inch. So it's gonna be it's gonna be different for me to try to figure out. So we'll have to go literally by what my room sizes are and then work our way out from that. So I think that's what we will do. Hopefully that will work. I don't know, but we'll do our best. This is gonna be a trial and error thing. So let me uh, pull that up real quick and uh, we'll get started. All right, I think what we're actually gonna do <clears throat> is I'm going to draw the first floor. And then I'm going to basically go up above it and uh, that will let me, and then we can destroy all the walls in the basement, right? So this is going to look weird because it's going to look, like look like we're going to build two houses on top of each other, but we're not, right? So just, just bear with me here, all right? So our garage, we'll start our garage over here somewhere. Our garage is like 22 feet wide. So there's 22, or 16, there's 22 feet. That's my interior dimension of my garage. So it's here. And then we're going to go like this and it is 32 foot long. So we need to come back a little bit more. So we'll go like 32, eight. All right. So that's our garage. That's my garage pad for the house. All right. So from that, we would have a foundation wall around it. All right. So let's do this. And that foundation wall is going to be nine foot tall. Right. Now your garages typically aren't nine foot tall garage walls because the garages don't have a basement under them, but we're just going to go with it. All right, and then we'll do nine foot four because eight foot eight is going to be too short when I do my stairs. So we'll we'll do this, all right, and then we'll go up like this. I love how quick this is. Thank you guys for suggesting this. <laughs> this is so much cooler. All right, so let's go up like that. All right, cool. So that's our that's that's one part of our garage. Okay, then on this outside, we need to come in basically uh, twenty one feet. So we'll come in about right there. That looks good. 
And then we're going to come across 13 foot six. All right. So we'll come across 13 foot six. We'll, get, we'll do 14 because we've got to worry about the walls, right? So we're going to make that a slab. If something doesn't work out later, we'll fix it. So, and then I got to have my wall here too. So we'll go like this and we'll take our wall up. Bam. All right, cool. So then uh, I need to go in. Let's see how, what's that dimension there? 13 foot six. Uh, let's see, I need to come out. Uh, like, actually, let's do this. Let's come back 30 inches. So, like, right there. And then we'll come out three feet. So, three foot four is fine. And we'll go like that. And then we'll actually go like this. Right? And then we'll go like this. And then we'll go like this. And then every once in a while, in my editing, I'm going to actually show you guys exactly what I'm drawing. Right? And then we'll run this wall. I don't... Let's see, this wall needs to come back from here needs to come back six feet so there's eight feet six foot eight right there so i just need to come back to here go all the way up and then we'll come across now this room here it's 10 foot 10 so it's 10 foot eight so we'll just make that the inside dimension since they'll be close right and then our foundation wall is going to be on this outside edge so we'll go like this and actually we'll go like this and go up like that and then i need to come uh, I need to come out three foot, somewhere around three foot nine. All right, so we'll do that. So there's four foot. That's close enough. What would the other one be? Three, four. Yeah, let's, let's do this one. And that room is 13 foot wide. So there's 13, four. We'll do that. And then we will actually draw the wall from here, but we're going to put it on the outside. I should have did that anyways. Like that. And then this up. We good? Yep, we're good. All right. And then uh, this is going to, let me see. I gotta, I gotta move my page real quick, hold on. All right, let's get back to this. I gotta move, or I gotta, um, see that's uh, crap, hold on. <laughs> I might need to zoom out of my, my thing. Let's zoom out real quick. There we go, I can see everything now. All right, there we go. So uh, we gotta come over from that wall 16 foot, but we have to drop back. I gotta add this up, it's uh, four feet. So from this wall, we got to come back four feet, which is right there. All right. And then from here, we got to go 16 foot. Is that right? Yeah, the 16 foot right there. Perfect. So we'll run this back. That's the slab. And then we'll take this back and up. And then we'll take this across and up there. So we're laying out. This is the, this is the basement, right? From here, we need to go back uh, 11 foot two. So let's go 11 foot two. So basically, we'll go to there. Uh, let's go from the outside, though, from here. So almost where that lines up, 11 foot 4. So we'll go from there. And that wall there is like 4.5 feet. All right, so we'll do 4 foot 8. All right, and then we'll go back uh, 16 foot 10 inches. So we'll just do 17 4, just for fun. And then we'll go like this, up, and then come across, up. And then what was this? That was the 4 foot 8, yeah. So I need to, oops, I didn't mean to do that. And we'll go like this and up and then that back side is i believe the same dimension yeah it's the same dimension so we'll go like this and up all right now we're gonna do the back side all right so this is kind of working out a lot easier than i thought it was going to be all right from here i need to go back 17 see we need to line that wall up though so we need to come in one more boop just right there just one please boop from here i need to go down uh 17 foot six so 17, four, let's do 17. Uh, you know what? This isn't, this isn't going to work. <laughs> this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work at all because I'm doing the outside and I said we can, we're going to do the inside walls first, right? So um, tell you what we'll do. I'll lay this. Let's, let's, just, let's just continue doing this. I have, a, I have an idea. So we'll just continue doing this. All right, so 17 foot six, we'll do 18 just for fun. All right, we'll go up. And then this wall across the back is 16 foot seven. So if you add the brick, you're gonna be like 16, eight, 17, four, 18. And then it comes in uh, six, eight. So six foot eight, perfect. And it's gonna come across uh, 22, basically 24 feet, boom. All right, and then it's gonna go uh, 11 foot. So we'll do 11 foot four. And then we need to go from here, basically 18 feet, boom, all right. And then this goes back uh, four and a half feet. So let's go four and a half feet. Let's go uh, four and a half there. So let's go one in, because we made that wide. 
All right, for, so from that wall, we need to go, let's see, this is the great room. That is the breakfast room. We went there. So now I got to come across uh, 13, eight. We could th we'll just do 14 feet. That's good, All right? And then this comes across uh, 14 foot, eight. Perfect, boom. And then we have a, I know this is a lot of jogs in the house, but trust me. All right, so six foot, we'll go seven foot four, because it's actually six ten, so we'll just do it like that. And then we have a nine foot out to out, so we'll go like this, and we'll just do nine foot four, bam. And then this is going to be interesting because that dimension there, if I look at it real quick, is supposed to be 12 foot five, right? So let's see what this dimension is if I come in like this and just go up. What is this dimension from here to here? It can't be 12 foot five. It's nine foot four. So that's that's where it's gonna throw us off because of the, the, the thickness of the walls, right? So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and make this. So this is our house, right? And I believe if we can, we are going to go into flight mode. So I think I can go into flight mode, right? Right here, flying G. There we go, that's gonna work. All right, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to work our ourselves from this side over to there. But if you look from the top, if you look at this, now I'm going to show you that I'm going to throw up the foundation plan. You're going to see it's very similar. So this 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 is going to work, but I had a feeling that, <laughs> that the house is going to be a lot bigger than this. So what I might do then is I'm going to take a quick edit. I'm going to destroy all this. I'm going to recenter it on the lot. So basically, I'm going to draw a line down the center and I'm going to remove this unless I can move this whole thing which I don't think I can uh, if I could that'd be awesome but I don't think that's an option like edit borders land holes can I just like move an entire object clear surface quests wall wall quests no I can't all right so let me just delete all this real quick I'm going to move it over and we're going to actually start I'm going to start it room by room because what I was saying is the issue is these walls are eight like these blocks are eight I went, we went over that on a, another episode. So if my walls inside my house are three and a half inches, uh, this counts as two walls, right? So by the time you add all those up across the house, this way it's working fine. But when we tried to close it out, we were off about three feet. So if you were to take all those three and a half inches that were missing because of an eight inch wall, you're probably going to be right around. We probably missed about 10 walls, which would be about 30 inches. So that's, that's why we are where we are. So let me center this and uh we'll st we'll start from scratch all right i didn't think that was gonna be as easy it was there's just a remove all command like you just draw a big old box that was that's kind of freaking awesome so anyways <laughs> that, was, that surprised me a little bit all right so what we need to do is we're gonna do by room sizes all right so i need to go we're gonna do room sizes so this room is 12 foot 7 so we're gonna make it 12 foot 8 all right so that's my 12 foot 8 mark right there and then i'm gonna come this way and um how are we gonna do this guys how are we gonna do this so that's my 12 foot 8 mark all right so if we go my dimension here at the at the wall is two feet so if we come back from here, two feet, so there's two foot eight, so there's two foot. My wall is going to be right there, right? So that's my wall. And then this room, if we just draw a wall across like this, actually, let's draw it like this. This room is 13 feet across. So we'll do, we'll do 13, we'll do 13 four, okay? So that's my 13 four. I know you can use those virtual walls. I just don't know what they are yet. So we'll worry about that later, All right? So we'll go like that. So that's our first room. That's the actual room. That's the actual bedroom, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's see, did we do that right? So 12 foot, yep, we did that right. So this is our internal wall. Let's go like this. All right, and then, so that's our first room. It does look exactly like my print though, which is nice. The only problem with the print, and I'll show it to you, we have angled walls. So we're gonna square this off a little bit just so to make it work, right? So the next room that we have uh, is this room sticks out basically three and a half feet on this wall, right? So we're going to go from this wall, three and a half feet. We'll make it four feet, right? And then this room is, uh, from the inside, this is going to be, we'll do this wall, uh, like this. So the interior wall dimension is eight foot four. So let's make it as close to that as we can, which is probably going to be nine foot, eight foot, eight, eight foot, eight is fine. So that's the interior wall dimension. 
And then this is going to come back uh, basically six foot two. We're not going to worry about that right now. So does that wall actually? Yes, that wall actually does stick out like that. All right. So the dimension here is six foot two from the inside. So we'll do six foot. We'll do six foot eight and we'll just bring this across because that's how that wall actually is. Boom. And then let's go ahead and the next dimension that we got to look at is five feet. So there's five foot four. That works. We'll go like this. Uh, that room right there. That works. All right. And inside here, we're going to have two four foot rooms, basically. So four foot. So there's a wall here that comes across. And then there's another wall that's four foot right there. So that comes across. Which, if you follow out, look where that hit right on where we stop that wall. So that's perfect, right? So that means we're doing something good here. So let's go ahead and delete this wall right there in that, in that. <laughs> All right, so that's that. All right, so over here, that wall is gonna continue. Let's go back to our walls. That wall is gonna continue down to here, come up, and then this wall is gonna continue across like this, boom, like that, I think. No, it's gonna continue. Uh, we need to get rid of that wall. The flying mechanic in this game is a little bit odd, not going to lie. So uh, let's go like this, and we'll delete all that, and then go back, and then we'll continue this wall across, and then up. All right, cool. So that's the vanity, vanity, bath, toilet, and then that's the two closets, right? And we just basically have the same wall right here. So this wall comes across and up, and that's the two closets. That works. All right, so the next bedroom... Uh, how are we going to do this? Let's actually do it from the hallway side. So the hallways are f basically three foot six wide. We're going to make them four foot. So this is the hallway. We're just going to draw a line like this for right now. This is kind of a, a test from there to there. So that was four foot, right? That's three foot four. Crap. We, we did wrong. So let's go back, draw one next to it. Go like this or to here, maybe. Boom. There we go. Do it like that. And then can I delete that? Whole entire wall please boom there we go we'll leave that there it doesn't matter because this is actually gonna get transferred up remember all right so from there because this back bedroom this wall continues all the way to the back side of the house all right so that's how, that's how we're going to measure the back bedroom and the back bedroom is actually 13 foot uh four and a half inches so let's do 13 foot four right if that's 13 foot four right there we will come from here and do this. So that's where my wall is. Now, if I look at my floor plan, does my, so on my floor plan, we're actually right here, all right? So I'm gonna adjust this. So we're gonna make a couple adjustments on this. So this room, inside to inside, is 14 foot eight, which we have that dimension right there, all right? So that's gonna be our room. And that 14 foot eight will come across like this and boom so that's my room so we'll just have to make some adjustments on this just because of the width of these walls so we'll do that all right cool so that's all laid out so we got that half of the house done and we're going to go and move across to the kitchen area so let's grab this come down now the kitchen area is 16 foot 8 inches wide so let's do a, a wall across here that's 16 foot 8 all right so that is right there that's gonna be our marker and so if we know that that's our marker and this wall comes out uh, four and a half feet. So this wall here needs to be four and a half feet. So if I go here, basically to there, so we'll go to here and I just want it to connect to there. Cool. And then we'll come across to there. So that was our dimension. Boom. And then we'll carry this back and that wall needs to come in 11 feet so inside dimension is 11 feet so we'll come in we'll do 10 foot 8 as the inside like this and then we'll carry this across so that'll work there all right so this room is 23 feet 3 inches all right so we need to do 23 feet inside to inside so 23 feet 3 inches so we got 23 feet 4 that works perfectly so we'll go up that's the inside dimension. So we'll put a wall here just just so we know. And then this wall here needs to be six foot eight. So six foot eight, perfect. And then this wall here 
we need to come across basically uh, 16 foot from this wall. So there's 16 foot, all right? But I need it to be, uh, we'll just put that there. And then I need the wall to be on the outside of that. There we go, and we'll go up. Cool, all right? So there's that. So, and then this wall, this bedroom is 17 foot four inches inside to inside. So let's just put a wall here and then we'll go 17 foot four, uh, 17 foot four, bam. So that's the inside dimension. So that means this room comes across like this to here to there. And then we'll just box this off like that. All right, so that's our master bedroom. Check it out guys, it's pretty cool. All right, so uh, that's our master bedroom. We could have set the house back further, couldn't we? Yeah, we could have probably been, eh, we'll worry about it later. The, the grade's gonna look really weird on the front. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and um, uh, what's our next dimension here? So our next dimension we need to look at is our hallway. So this wall is gonna continue down a little bit. All right, and then we have a hallway here that is basically three and a half feet. So we're gonna make it four feet again. So we're gonna come to here. That's gonna be our hallway up to here, okay? This room inside here, we need to make basically nine foot eight. So we'll, just, we'll start at the 10 foot mark. We're gonna put a wall up here, okay? And we'll just put a little nub there because that's gonna, that's gonna help me out here. And then I need a six foot inside dimension. There we go. So we need to come one out and go like that all the way up to here and then connect those walls. Bam, boom, there we go. So, and then this interior dimension of this is 11 foot one, all right? So we'll do 11 foot four and we'll do it right here. So we'll just come across, we'll bring it up uh, there and then we'll connect these, all right? And then the next room is uh, four foot wide, perfect. So there's four foot and so I'll just do four foot and we'll go one more and that'll be the outside dimension. And then we'll come in like this. All right, and that wall actually comes all the way in. All right, cool. So we're working on our bathroom. Uh, let's see here. How do we want to, we want to, we'll come back and do this. I just want to get the outside perimeter walls done first, okay? All right, so let's go in here. I have a dimension. So this is our hallway. We'll continue this hallway down a little bit further. All right, uh, our great room has a dimension of 19 foot. So we have a dimension, I'm sorry. Uh, four foot eight. So there's four foot eight right there. So here we're gonna have a wall that comes up and this wall is gonna come all the way across to there for right now. And then this interior dimension of this room here is 19 foot seven. So we'll come across 19 foot seven. So we'll use 20 right there and we'll come across. So that's our great room wall. All right, and then there is another basically a four foot hallway right here. So we'll go like this and bring that up and we'll connect that to that. Cool. And so that allows me to see where my, that's the entrance into the, to the uh, master. And then that's going to help me lay out the rest of this because on the other side of this room is a 12 foot room coming right off of this corner wall. So we need 12 foot inside dimension. So right there. So we need to come like right here. That's the front wall of the house, right about there. Cool. And that wall will meet there. Oh, went too high. That's okay. We'll fix it. All right. And then, um, actually, I don't want it there. It's going to it's gonna drive me crazy. Uh, boop. And then, boop. The sound effects are free, by the way. All right. So that's that. And if I know where that wall is, then I know coming off of this wall here, should it be the back edge of the... Um, of the closet so we'll put a wall here and that dimension is 15 foot 10 so basically 16 foot and that should line up with uh wait 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 wait. we did something wrong here oh my bad my bad we did this wrong we did this wrong so let's run a wall across here there right, we go so from here we need to go out like this and get rid of this okay i did that wrong boom boom and then boom and boom cool there, there we go that makes more sense all right, so this is the inside of the, the closet wall. So this wall is basically lines up with that wall down there. So right there, which is basically right here. And we'll come out in that hallway. Uh, we'll just, hmm, I'm not gonna be able to do that. The inside dimension is eight foot, but I got a, I got a little closet here that's like two and a half feet. So we'll do that. And then we'll go eight foot 
right there and then we'll run this to the outside boom like that all right cool so that's the outside walls this is the um this is the office wall so we'll go like this and then this room here is basically 12 foot wide too so 12 foot is right there so 12 foot eight and we'll come to here and draw a wall up and we'll connect this wall to this wall and this wall to this wall cool that works and then let's get rid of this little section there cool it's working out hopefully it works out all right so hopefully hopefully it closes by the time we get to the garage if it doesn't i'm gonna scream all right so i don't know it might it might not uh it looks like it will though it does look like it it might so because this that wall right there is literally this wall here so uh hopefully those two walls are the same i'm actually going to draw a wall across here and we're going to come to here just like that all right cool that's this wall that we're getting ready to do. So we'll go like this just to give us a wall. And we're gonna come out like just to there for right now. All right, so uh, this dimension on the inside is, looks like it's eight foot, uh, let, me, let me look real quick, it's really small. All right, it's eight foot seven from here to here, all right? So we'll use that mark there and we'll come up to here so that's our entryway and that's exactly what it's supposed to look like and the, so this entryway just to test it should be close to 10 foot 10 inches it's 10 foot 8 we're off two inches guys that's not bad <laughs> that's, that's a lot better than what i thought it was going to be that's freaking cool all right so let's keep going all right so this room here is seven foot six wide all right so we got seven foot four and we'll just grab this mark here, okay? So that's going to be our next room. That's going to come up, boom. And uh, let me let me do something real quick. I got to pan it over so I can see it. All right, cool. And then we need to come from basically. Let's see here. This wall here is going to is going to continue through. And from let's draw a line down to there, boom. Okay, so this wall inside here, this room is going to be eleven foot five. So there's eleven foot four. Mm, that's fine. We'll just go out one more. So right there. And that's going to come across like this. Come up to there. So we'll connect these walls here. Whoops. Like that. Boom. And this wall just goes all the way across. So this goes to here to the garage. And if we connect this wall to this wall, this room here should be close to five and a half feet. Six feet. We're good. We're good. We're golden. All right. Cool. That worked out a lot better than what I thought. So I'm going to put the little uh detailed touches on this this wall needed to be uh actually let's start up here six feet right there uh let's see right there whoops i didn't mean to do that is there an undo button no there's not all right that'd be cool if there was an undo button Boop. and so i need to come i guess it would be easier to do it down at the bottom so i just need to see where it goes three blocks all right one two three we'll go four and then this is uh, two and a half feet, so there. So to here to here, up. And this is just a little um, decorative wall that's on the outside of the house. All right, cool. And then we're gonna have the same thing right here that's five feet wide. So we'll go up here, we'll, go f we'll do four foot eight, that's fine, like that. And that's actually gonna be like too deep, all right? And then over here, we have one that is uh, basically 12 foot deep. So we'll go from here, 12 foot up, and then we'll do it again, up. And then on the garage, we have one over here on the garage too. So let me get that on my screen. So on the garage, we have two six foot tens. So we'll do six foot eight and then six foot eight up and that should be fine for right there and i think everything else is good so this is our house all right so what i'm going to do now is we're going to play with the grade so let's grab the grade landscaping tool what's the other um can i what was that is that the r button yeah it's the radius all right that's my radius all right and i want to raise this so this is what is this one um i don't know what this means <laughs> Is it a square? And this one's a circle, I guess? Intensity, I don't want the intensity to be very high. All right, so let's try this. Now, does it raise it inside the house too? Oh, that would suck if it did. Oh, it freaking does. Oh man, that sucks. <laughs> um, 
Let's see here. Uh, let's go into here. Can I do square then? Is that what that is? Oh, you can. That's fantastic. Oh, that's awesome. All right, hold on. So that just raises that little area. Okay, that's cool. Let me do something real quick. All right, so I've been working on this terrain thing. This terrain tool right here is freaking awesome. So you pick a sample height. You can see there it's called Q. You just pick a sample height and then you can just drag and it raises the whole entire terrain, which is freaking awesome. Now we're gonna fix this here in a minute, but this is gonna help me get the terrain kind of where we want it. We'll roll it here in a second. But basically what I wanna do back here though, is I need to get this grade here roughly about uh if we go back into here i need to raise this grade pretty much to halfway up the wall so i want to see how high up that goes so we need to do it one more time to about right there i think that will work i think that'll work let's see if we can get um can i get it a little bit closer to the house like right there yeah it's and it's kind of going through the house which i don't want hmm i don't really want that um is there any way to remove that <laughs> I really don't want that. Um, let's see here. We can flatten that little area out. Or do we want to go, uh, do we got to go like this then? Like this. Uh, do Q sample height. Okay, that's fine. Select first point. Okay. Uh, Q. Go like this. Q. All right. And then I want to go basically that corner to here. That didn't clean it up at all. That's going to be under the stairs. I'm not worried about that. Yeah, that's fine. We'll fix this over here later. So this is basically where I want the grade to be. So we'll go out like this, like that. And then over here, we want the same thing like that. And then this grade to this grade is going to fall. So we'll just have this come like this. And then we'll do the same with this here. And then we'll 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 soften that out here in a little bit. But that's basically about how high the back of the house sits up out of the ground. And so we should probably grab that point. Did that stay inside? Yes, it did. Nice. All right. And then we'll grab this point here. That worked. And then we kind of need to grab. I need to get right there in the corner. See, it's actually going through the wall, and I can't see. I can't see exactly where that's going. All right, so let's go like that. That works. And then let's go like this. Boom. Yep, that didn't work. So let's go like. Let's grab a point out here and go into the wall like that. Did that go through the wall? No, it did not. Okay, cool. And then what we can do then is we can grab this tool here. And I don't know. Let's let's just try this. Can I just soften this? Yeah, it does. All right, cool. So it just softens that area out. That's cool. I really like that. Look at that. That's cool. Or you can use this little tool here, right? We can just turn the intensity up and we can just go like this and that'll roll that grade, which is nice. I like that. That's cool. Okay. Now I know how this works. <laughs> All right, let's fly over here. I'm trying to fly faster, but I can't. I've been playing Minecraft where you have a jetpack and then you can just press like the, the space bar or the control key and it will fly faster, but this one doesn't do that. All right, so that grade would fall like that, All right? And then we kind of have, oh, that got that got nasty in there, didn't it? Okay, uh, that's fine. We'll, we'll try to fix that. Let's actually go back into this and maybe we do Q on that and then just do this room. So will that work? Yes, that actually cleaned that up. That's cool. So we can just actually clean up the rooms. All right, cool. All right, let's try that then. Clean up this room. And can I get a little bit closer? What does it do to the outside? Nothing. That's freaking awesome. Some of you guys are probably like, I told you. I know you did. All right, let's do a uh, Q again on that. And then I wanna bring this out flush with this. All right, so that's our house. And I'm good with that. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. This is gonna be our foundation. I, can you paint this all the, okay, here's what we're gonna do though. <laughs> I am going to go in and delete all these walls. Um, actually, I'm not gonna do that, we'll wait. So what I'm going to do now is um, basically bring these walls up another, see how we wanna do this. We wanna bring these walls up. If I have a, let's say we have a joist, right? We'll do one foot four on the joist. It's a little excessive, but it's okay, right? So we'll do one foot four, and we'll just put a little knob here, okay? And then I'm actually going to put the joist in the house so you get the actual height of the house, right? So we'll do that, and then we will copy the house. The house is nine foot walls, so we'll do, what is it, nine foot four? That's fine. We'll do nine foot four walls, right? And then I'm just going to mimic everything that we just did like this, 
and I'm going to recreate the first floor and then we're going to tear out all the basement walls because we really don't need the basement walls on the inside. And then we will have the first floor basically laid out the way we want it. And then we can get started on our actual floor plan and get in it finished. So let me get that done real quick. All right, I have this all laid out, which is awesome. So I'm going to put some more walls in here like this. All right, so that's the that's the first floor plan. I went and got most of the other walls that we couldn't see. All right, and then now what I did is I left that little place there, which is way, which would be where the floor joists are. But in the garage, your walls are still the same height. So this would still go up to the normal height. So we're going to bring this across here. So that would be the garage walls and they would come all the way across and they would meet up like that, all right? So then all we gotta do is fill in this, but I'm gonna fill that in solid. I just wanted to get all this done. So I'm gonna go through in here and fill this all in solid where we would actually have a floor system. So I'm gonna go all the way to here and then do the same thing again. Uh, is it gonna let me do it? Nope, I didn't grab it, all right? So let's go like this to there and then to, actually we need to, it didn't work again. <laughs> It's hard to do it underground, isn't it? That's different. All right, so let's go like this, like that, and then let's go all the way back to the edge of that. Cool. We'll fill this in right here. Whoops, just to there and then up, and then we're gonna fill this in across here, there to up, and then this little spot here will need to be filled in here too. So we need to go from here to here and then down, down please, there, nope. <laughs> there to there to there, cool. Uh, this will all need to be filled in from here to there and then out to the outside and then can we just do oh I didn't know I could fly through stuff I've been trying to fly around stuff uh, how do I sink um let's see how do I oh you just point downwards okay Whoop. all right so if we go like this to there to here okay that's done just want to make sure we got all the outside part and we just missed a little plot spot right here. That's cool. All right, so we're filling in where the floor is. All right, so we'll fill this in here. And then we're gonna grab that to there. And we'll go all the way to there. And then we'll do it again. Come all the way back to here and across to there. Cool. So that's all that. We need to fill all this in. To there, to there. And then from there to there out boom and then the same thing with this i guess i have to be precise because you can overlap the bricks i didn't realize that so yeah we could just go like that all the way to this outside wall boom and then just fill this little piece in here all right so that's all done that's given us our floor system there we'll have to get rid of that little thing there let's hit this part over here from there to there to here and then we'll just do that again from there to here to there fill this in here and then let's grab from there to there all the way to here if it'll let me is it because i'm underneath it yes it is to there and we missed that piece there and then if we do it again from here to there across all right that worked out great so we're actually in the basement of the house which is kind of cool all right and then we just missed a little piece here whoops all right and then that doesn't need to be there we'll fix that we'll fill that in there yes we're making it as accurate as possible all right so if i'm going to do this i want to do it right all right so you won't see that anyways got that floor done got that floor done and then we just got to do it over on this side so let's go ahead and grab our thing again let's go down under let's do this back bedroom first from there to here basically to this wall here and we'll do that again boom whoops to there to there we go drag it fine we'll just go to there who cares from there to man it's like finicky isn't it all right we gotta fill in that little space there which i don't know what that is but we'll go underground and see all right so we need to grab that we'll bring that all the way to here to this all right cool is that yep everything still looks good and then we just need to go from here to here to there and to there there we just have a little space right there boom boom all right cool i think that's all i think we got it all so that's all our floor yes it is cool that's our basement and this is how you actually get into the basement we need to get rid of that little thing there though so let's go ahead and go back to our landscape tool and then we'll grab this one right we're gonna do Q on that, and then we're gonna go like this. Boom, there we go, awesome. And then we're just gonna get rid of this here. All right, we'll get rid of that. And then we're gonna make this all the basement floor. So we're gonna paint this all in. Can I not go down underground, or are we as low as we can go? Oh, you're kidding, I can't go underground with this? Um, 
build wall? Oh, that sucks. I thought you could do underground like you did on the other one. I guess not. All right, well, we'll just have to have a shorter basement then. So we'll go like this. That worked. And then we'll grab here to there. And then we'll get in here. All right, I just need to see, make sure that we're not... Yeah, it's still good. You, I don't think you're going to be able to see the outside because we're underground. Oh, we got to fix that for sure. <laughs> Let's come all the way through there and then yeah we gotta fix all this all right so let's go uh landscape mode we'll click on q and then we'll go like this boom and then we'll go like this boom there that works and then we'll fin fi fix the floor like that all right is that good are we good nope we still got some in here we'll come all the way over to here all right are we good here good there good there good all the way through cool the garage level of floor uh, we're not going to see that anyways. So if I were to come down here, remember where our floor is. It's right here, right? So that is, let's do, let's go. It's, if we can look through the floor, I just want to see what brick. It's this brick here. So we need to go down two and then this brick right here. So crap, it's that one there. So that would be our slab line. This would be the slab of the garage. We'll just go like this. So that's where the garage height would typically be, All right. So let's go, um, did I turn that? What happened? I turned flying off. Yes, it did. All right, cool. Here we go. Fix that grade right there. That's not not a deal. Okay, so that's our house, right? Let's go into paint, uh, land painting. Do we just have regular painting? Uh, surface quests? No. Uh, let's go paint. Uh, surface finishes. And can I just get like regular concrete? Uh, that's not concrete. Um, I mean, that's old dirty concrete. We don't really have just like concrete, do we? Paint, tiles, uh, that's concrete stone. I guess that would be okay. Are you kidding me? I gotta put this on like the normal house? Are you serious? I just can't paint a whole entire wall? No way. Why can't I lay, uh, I can't lay it on the ground? Okay, so then what do I do here? <laughs> I don't have the tool, right? Found it. I just gotta press Q. Uh, smooth concrete. There we go. That's fine. And then I can just go like this. So that's our joist, but we don't want it there. We want it at this level here. There we go. That's what we wanted. All right. So we'll just paint all this as concrete all the way it's down below grade. All right. And we'll come across this all the way across this. See how it's already starting to look like a house? Freaking A. All right. Let's keep going. Tell you what we're going to do just so we can like plan out what our strategy is. I'm going to get, we're going to, the house is laid out, right? We're going to put all the doors and stuff on it and try to get it as far as we can now this section over here is going to be kind of weird and i'll show you what we're going to do here we'll go ahead and put the the concrete on like this but i'll show you what it will actually look like in real life there's actually going to be a step in the in the concrete it's going to be like that but it won't be that dramatic okay and then we'll have this go like this all right and then there's probably going to be like we'll have like a step like this and there'll probably be one step there and this will come across i'll meet like that so that's kind of how the house would be if you were to step it look like that all right so and then on the inside uh, we need to knock out a bunch of walls so let's go ahead and remove some of these so this is the stairway wall right so this wall actually is going to come out like this and then up right and then we need to plan on something there and then here we don't want any of that wall and that's good and then uh let's see here let's go ahead we, we missed some foundation or some floor here so let's go ahead and get this fixed and that goes to there okay cool and i like how we did this because that's pretty much what that looks like there's a beam across there but you wouldn't see it this is going to be like a there's a closet here and you'll see why here in a little bit the stairs actually come down right there all right so this wall needs to come all the way across and up this wall is not there in the real house this is not there just that okay so this is starting to look right and then there should be a section here and yeah it goes all the way back to there so we need to get rid of this whole section here fill that in right there you get to get the floor in here all right and here there is a beam that comes across and sets on this wall so there is a beam here and this wall needs to come on up it needs to continue over like that and let's go ahead and fill this in here okay cool all right that's the basement but we'll get back down to the basement here later there's actually a big old room here uh, let's go ahead and get, just get rid of these walls here let's get rid of all this and then all of this like that Yep, and then this room comes in here like this, like that. And then this room actually comes across like that. There we go. So that's all good there. That's all good there. And then over here, we have an opening here. And then none of this is here. All right. 
We gotta fill in this floor. All right, and then let's see here. Let's see where we're at. So there you come through here. There's actually a door here that we will put in. And then there's actually a door there. Yep, let's go ahead and remove that wall though, just so I can see what we're doing. I just wanna get the walls laid out. And I'll put the foundation plan on the on the on the uh, video right now, so you guys can see what I'm drawing. And then in here, this room actually comes across and up and over. So that's good. That's the basement. Okay. So here, what happens is this room, this great room, is actually 14 foot tall. So we need to go up another five feet. All right. So we'll go up five foot four. And that's how tall that wall actually is. All right. And this 14 feet carries all the way through that line there and carries all the way through here. The entryway is 14 foot like this. This wall is 14 foot all the way through here. And basically there is this header or drywall. So when you walk in, you kind of see into the kitchen from here, right? So that's, that's where that's at. And then you wouldn't see, um, where's that hallway at right there? So from here up. And that's going to be from there up. This is all 14 foot. And then there's the fireplace that sits here in the center. So we need to put that, but it's actually up off the ground. So we'll do that here in a minute. So that's the kitchen, right? So we're going to actually put the ceiling in now. So let's go ahead and put the ceiling. Oh, I for totally forgot. This has a back porch on it. So the back porch, um, if I can get, where are we at floor line wise? So right here. Okay. The back porch comes out, uh, let's see, 18 feet actually 17 foot four so that's the floor line right so we need to be down the next one so it's gonna be like right here so 17 foot four and it's that wide right and this is actually a concrete patio so it goes all the way down like this like that right and then this is gonna have a covered porch on it so that's how that works all right so if we were to look at it from the top if you look at this now i'm going to show you the floor plan and you can see that they're pretty much identical so we did a good job did a real good job guys all right so let's this is going to be the weird part so we have a staircase that starts here and it comes in like two steps right this is actually dropped down about 30 inches so three steps but on this game we can only go to here so that'd be one two three steps so i'm gonna to come to here and this landing is basically five feet wide like this so we're gonna make it four foot eight four foot eight the landing uh actually no it's actually longer than that so the landing is like seven foot four but the stairway itself is only uh five foot wide so we'll go like this four foot eight four foot eight four foot eight like that and then we'll put these stairs in there and let's go ahead and take that one out and we'll put this one back and then we'll take that one out take that out we'll put real stairs in here and then the rest of the stairs come all the way down here so if we did stairs, uh, let's see, stair elements, stairs. Let's get, uh, what do these look like? Those got wood. Yeah, that's fine. We'll buy these. So we need to come across like this and then go down three steps like that. Uh, why is it not let me do this? Oh, is it because of that? Okay. Let me, uh, let me get rid of that and that. All right. Let's see if they'll do it now. All right. So we go like this. Yep. There we go. We'll just do it like that. All right. Cool. And then these come all the way down like this, all the way down to about right there. Yep, that's exactly what it looks like. And then we got to fill this in, which we have the, the right blocks to do at this time. <laughs> so that's what that looks like. And then, so that's a mid-level walkout. So you come down three steps and then you can go outside. It's a little bit deeper than this, but that's about what it would look like. And then the kitchen sets here. And then we have a hallway here. And then we have um, the the pantry sits here. There's a closet here too. Now our kitchen is on an angle, and I don't think we can put cabinets on an angle on this on this uh, game. But that might be an issue. So the other thing we need to do is the front porch will actually sit like this, and it comes out pretty far like that. And so we need to, and it wraps around the corner right here. And we'll just take that down to let's see, go there. And then can I go down please? Okay. Let's just do it this way then. All right. We'll do it like that. And then it comes to here and then we need to bring this, uh, thing all the way up. And then if I remember correctly, this goes all the way up to 14 foot too. I believe it does, but that's the front porch. The front porch sits there. And then we need this piece here to come all the way up and this piece here to come all the way up. And then this piece here comes up to the window line. So I think it's about right there. We'll see about where our window lines are. All right. And then we need to fill this little piece in here. Cool. 
And then let's go ahead and go to our painting thing. Paint and copy surface finish. Boop. And then paint all this. Whoops. No, I just want to copy. Uh, it says right here, copy finish. Oh, I'm sorry. We need to copy that. There we go. Paint that. We'll put steps on it here in a little bit, but we're just getting it ready. It's our front porch like that. All right. So that's the front porch. And then the garage slab would be painted like that. So that's our garage slab. And then our back porch slab would also be painted. So we'll go like this. That's our back porch slab. And then all this would have a slab edge on it. Now it actually sticks out like an inch and a half because they put a two by four underneath it when they pour it and it gives it like a little lip, but we're not gonna worry about that. Go like that and like this. This actually has a brick ledge on it, so there'll be brick there. All right, so that's all done. That's all good. That's about what it looks like. I'm pretty pleased so far. Okay, cool. So then what we wanna do is I want to get, if we can, I wanna get most of the windows in, all right? so. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to this. There's a little hole here. Uh, boom, boom, there we go. All right, cool. All right, um, actually, you know what we should do? We should probably put the doors in. So let's put the doors in. That way we can get uh, some of the hallways and stuff. So that I know that they're, the entry to the uh, bedroom back here, um, actually, let's go copy finish surface. There we go. Um, is here, right? Right there, boom. This comes up and then that exact same wall comes all the way through, boom. All right, cool. So let's go in here, let's get the doors and we're just gonna use interior doors and we will use, um, we'll use these, we'll just make them, uh, I want them all white basically cause that's what they are in the house. So we'll do white doors and unfortunately I didn't make the hallway white enough so it's gonna be off. So there's a door there, there is a door here, there is a door basically here but it opens that way. It's saying no, so there and then this one opens that way and then this one opens this way. Why won't you let me put them on the ends? I don't understand that. That one will though. No. Nope. Yep it will. That's weird. All right, let's see if we can move those. I don't know if they'll let us do that or not. I'm gonna flip all the 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 uh, direction of those two. So then we have a door here. Uh, so basically in the middle of this room. And then, uh, I didn't do this right here. So let's grab this. This come across to here and up. Then this wall is not actually there. This wall is not here. Neither is this one. There we go. So we have a door. Oh, let's go back. Doors. I have a door here. We'll flip the direction, like I said, later. There's a door from the garage here. It would open in. We'll flip the direction, and that's good there. This is gonna be an opening that goes through. And then we have a door going into the master that's gonna set here. We'll flip that, all right? And then we have a door, we have a double door that goes into the master bath, but I'm just gonna put a single door. Uh, there's a door that goes into the closet. This is a door for the toilet room. So we're gonna hug it over here to the edge. And then that's an opening and that's a closet. You'll want to fix that. And I think that's all the doors that we have. We have a door into the pantry, which is actually from the kitchen, but we're gonna have to fix that. I don't know how we're gonna, we're gonna have to play around with this. So I'm gonna put it like right there for right now. And then there's, a, there's gonna be a door here for a closet in the hallway. All right, so that's that. So uh, next we're gonna do windows. All right, guys, let's see if we can get the uh, doors and windows in here the way that I have them uh, in the actual house. I don't know if this is gonna be entirely possible because of the shape that we have them in, but I do know that you can change certain shapes of doors and stuff, but we'll just, we'll see how it goes. Now, the front door of the actual model kind of looks like this one here, uh, but we're gonna use this and we'll turn it to black. And I think that would be good. And then let's change this from this until like, actually it's not black, it's this color. Now that I remember, all right, so that's fine. And let's go to that. And then the door handles can be black, that's fine. All right, so can I center that? It's not centered, so we're gonna have to fix that wall there. Okay, Um, that's fine, we'll put it right there. That's gonna put two on that side and three on that side. So let's put it, let's put it right there. Why is it not letting us, oh, that's right, because we're one up, okay, that's fine. Let's do it like this, all right? And then this wall here actually has a window in it. So the one thing that I saw that we are able to do is edit windows, which it looks like we might be able to edit this one too. That would be cool if we could because all these doors are not, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they're 80 inches, which is about, that's the standard height of a door. 
The door on our model is actually, can I do this? Um, resize, okay. And then let's see, is it, will it let me resize this? I don't know if it'll let me resize this or not. It says transform tool resize, yes. Ignore collisions, yes. Yeah, it's not gonna let me resize that. Okay, so it's just the, it's just the one windows that will let us resize. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so the windows that we actually have in the model look like this. So if we go back to building, there's a sandbox only mode. And that's the, where the windows that I like are in here. And they actually look like this. So we're going to actually get this. We're going to put that right there. Okay. And then you can actually go in here and click on uh, this button here and click resize. And you can stretch these up, right? So we want to stretch this, I believe, to about right there. All right, and then I'm going to copy this here. I'm going to, can I duplicate this? Uh, just copy. Uh, is there the, do we have the, du am I missing something? <laughs> there, Q duplicate, there we go. All right, and then we'll put it here. And then let's see, we have a big one here and I think I need to outstretch this. Let me, let me look at something real quick. Okay, I got it here in front of me. So the, the way that the model is set up, let's uh, actually move this one up. So let's move this, let's move this up to about right there and then duplicate this one and put it here. And then I want to go in and stretch this one. And I need to make it actually Let's do this, do that. I need to stretch this one over to there, but I need to pull this one this way. There we go. And then this one I need to actually pull over this way. There we go. So that's what that window. And then I need to go in and crap. Uh, we need to do the bottom windows first because I got little windows here at the bottom. Um, I don't think, yeah, we can do this. Let's just do this. So I got like a window that's this size and then a window that's this size. Okay, and then let's move these down to floor line like that. Okay, and then we can duplicate this one and duplicate this one. And then we can go in and change the size of this one. And this one is the same height as the front door, but the front door is actually, it should be eight foot tall. So I'm gonna go another two blocks high like that, like that. And then we're going to basically copy this one here. Whoops, duplicate, oops, nope, go down. Uh, I need to go into this, duplicate that, and we need to put that one there. And then I need to duplicate that one and put that one there. And then we need to do the same thing with this and we'll raise that up. All right, so that's, oh crap. Um, let's resize that back down there. Now I'll do that. All right, so I'm looking at my picture and I'm looking at this and that's pretty close to what we had. And then this one, we just need to resize it back down to that and then duplicate that one. Oops, is there an undo button? Is there like a backspace, delete backspace? Why, I thought someone said Y was undo, U undo. It's not, okay, that's fine. <laughs> All right, so this window goes here and then duplicate that window, please. All right, and it's not gonna let us. So we'll have to, oh, it worked. All right, and then we'll change the height of this window to here. All right, and then let's change the height of this window to there. And then let's go in and, whoops, copy that one. Whoops, put it back. Copy that one, put it here, stretch that window to there. Okay, cool. So that's that's how that window is, okay? And then the front door actually has some panels and we're probably gonna have to use these type of windows here. So let's, uh, let's go in and copy that. We'll put one there and one there. But these windows and the door actually matches with this. So I'm not really gonna worry about it. And then I want to copy this one. Whoops, put that back. Copy that. I want to sit it here. I want to stretch this to here. And I want to move it up to the same height. And then let's copy this one and put it there and put that one there. Yep, that looks fine. We'll keep it like that. All right, and then over here, we could probably just use our regular windows, I'm pretty sure. So let's go in here and doors, windows, uh, this one here, and I just want a tall one. And let's get, uh, that's a three by seven, three by, or two by six. Let me look at this one real quick. That's that, that's too small. So that's a three, we need a four or a five. I guess a five would work. Uh, this is a five, 
five, five by ten, a three by eight. This just looks really small. Yeah, it does. Um, that can't be a three by seven or well, three by eight. Why are those so? Why are those so narrow? That's that's what I'm actually looking for. Something like that. Okay, well, let's go in here. None of these windows had grids on it except for the ones on the top. So. Uh, we're going to put that basically there, and then it's going to have like a little transom on the top. So we need a five, right? That's what this was, five. So five by three, right? Yeah, that's what that looked like. All right, and then there's actually another one right here on the corner, I believe. And then the shower actually had a window in it. I don't know if we can do, uh, let's see, change style. Can I, What kind of grids? Oh, no, we don't want that. Let me see what that looks like. I can't change that, though, can I? We'll keep that like that. We'll keep that like that. And then let's go ahead and get another window. And this one will be a small one, though. So this 2x6 is probably going to be fine. And that window goes right here. we got to keep all these at the same height, so it'll be, like, right there. Yep. All right, cool. That works for me. And then let's go over here, and we have two of these windows, the same windows that we just picked. Uh, actually, they're squares. I don't think we have squares, do we? We don't have, like, little square windows. This is a 5x6. Five I need this, but just, like, a little square, unless they're down here. 5x5. Five five. Do we just have, like, a little square window? 4x6 <laughs> would be, like, the smallest square window we have, isn't it? Uh, What's this look like? 4x6. Yeah, that'll work. That's as close as we can get. That's fine. So we have one here and then we have one here. And then on the garage, we actually have to finish this wall. So this wall basically comes up the same height as that one over there. So we're one, two, three, four, five down. So right there and this wall goes like this, same height, boom. And then we actually, this actually needs to come out too. I didn't realize that. So this needs to come out like this and we'll come across like this. And then the center piece actually comes out one all the way up like that. And then this overlaps in the middle. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's delete that, delete that piece. And then we need this here like that. Crap, I just did the same thing again. <laughs> all right, let's grab that piece there and take that off. Yes, that's exactly what it looks like. All right. And then we just need the same size. We just need these windows right here on the front of the garage. So let's go over here and duplicate that. And we'll put these on the front of the garage. We'll put one there. Let's see. Why is it not letting us put it there? Oh, there's a wall behind it. That's why. Uh, let's go like this. Here we go. Duplicate. All right, there we go. That works. So can I get it there and here? Yeah. And then I need to duplicate this and bring this over like that and like that. Yes, and then this roof actually goes up a little bit taller. It actually goes up two, and hopefully this works out with our roof. I don't know if we'll be able to make this actually work like that. All right, cool. That works. And then, yeah, this does go all the way up to 14 feet. I thought that it did. So this goes all the way up like this, and this goes all the way up like this. Whoops, to there. And then this kind of goes all the way back, but it kind of dies into the wall. Cool. So that's that. All right, so that all works out. So let's go to the side elevation. Now I know that there is a big bank of windows back here. So back here, I should basically have sent the normal windows. This one would be the big picture window that goes in the middle. That's actually not the window we needed. <laughs> uh, do we have that big seven by eight? Oh yeah, that's what we wanted. I don't even think that's the right size. We might have to do the other windows, the big stretchy ones. All right, so I need, um, we need this one here, and that's going to go on, let's see, we got it. We're going to have to make the windows, guys, really are, because I'm not going to be able to do this one. So let's go out front and copy these windows, because we just don't have the windows the big enough size. So let's go like this. Uh, let's duplicate that one. That's unfortunate, but that's okay. And this will go basically here, and then we will stretch that out one, right? Yep. And then, then I need to duplicate this one and put it there. It's not going to let me because it's too big, uh, but we can take it and put it on the ground, right? If we just duplicated it, it won't let me sit it on the ground if I just move it. That's dumb. Okay. Uh, well, let's stretch it then to there. Um, it looks off centered. Let's actually go grab the other window. This one here. Duplicate. Crap. Duplicate. And we'll put this window there and then here. And that's not centered. So we got, yeah, it's not centered. So we need to move this one over one and then actually make this one one bigger. There, and that's what the master bedroom window looks like. So this window, this is going to be a, a three panel slider. So basically 
This is casement windows. Oh, we need to go to the doors. Do they just have doors? Yeah, a balcony door. So this is black. And um, it would basically look like four of these together. So it'd be one, two, three, and then four. So that's what that looks like. And then I don't believe we put a transom above it, but we could have. I don't remember. And then here, you see where that landing is? We have a door here and a door here. Okay. And then the windows here are lined up with the bottom of this. So I want to see if we're going to be able to get this to work. <laughs> uh, I know we're not going to be able to get the one to work. So we're just going to duplicate this and I'm going to put it there and we're going to put one here and then we're going to resize this. And this is going to be resized down and then over. And then let's resize this one over and then down. And then let's resize that down a little bit more. And then let's get, uh, actually, let's bring that down one more. And then let's go in and copy. I didn't mean to do that. Let's go in and, uh, oops, copy that. So that's there. And then copy this one. Whoops. Copy that one. And then I want to copy it up here and copy it up there. And then we, we have a window here and then they ended up adding a window here after the fact, after the house was, uh, being built just to, to measure it out. So from the great room, when you walk in, this is what it looks like. That's exactly what it looks like when you walk in the house. It's pretty cool that that actually works. <laughs> so let's go ahead and grab. I hate having different windows. I'd almost, uh, I'd almost rather just use the same windows throughout the house, but this is, this is the window sizes that are actually there. So we will use these. So this window goes here and here. And then, uh, I believe that let's copy this. These are the bedroom size windows. So let's duplicate that. There is a window here and then there's a window here. And then this bedroom's got two windows, one here and basically one there. And then this bathroom, if I remember correctly, let me check real quick. I don't believe uh, that's, I'll show you these and I'll put them up on the screen so you can see what I'm actually looking at. So the, the side, this side of the house, let me get back on my screen here. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's see, I'll make them the same. Yep. Uh, we have a window that goes in the basement there, and then we didn't put any windows in this bathroom. Nope, we didn't. Okay, cool. And then this garage, I don't think, does this, this is a 16, that's a 16, 10, 16. So they didn't give us, that's a 10 by 12, right? That's high. 16, 16, 10. I don't think that means 16 foot wide. Yeah, we don't have, they're all, I guess they're not. I guess they're the, I guess they're the same. So this would be a single car garage. So the single car garage would basically go about, let me see where the slab is right there. And then the double door, which would be this one would basically go here. But the problem is that's not the, that's not the size of a normal two car garage door. It's like double that size. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cop. We're just going to duplicate this. We'll do like three doors. It's a three car garage. So that's what it would look like anyways. So we'll go like this and then we'll go like that. So that's not what it looks like in real life, but you guys get the point. So the garage has come in there. That's all the windows there. And that's all the windows there. That's all the windows there. Yep. That's all done. Cool. So, uh, let's go ahead and play with this real quick. So I want to go ahead and set this up the way it actually is. So that goes, can I make it go down? Let's just go this way with it then like that. And then let's do that again and then we'll do it again. Okay. And then we got this one here and then we have another one here all right so that's the entryway that's actually what it looks like and then this actually comes across all the way like this and that step does the same thing so we'll go like this and then go like this boom so that's actually what that looks like so if we go into surface paint if i copy that we can paint all this man why don't they let it <laughs> i know it's sandbox mode and you wouldn't get charged for it but my god how easy is this this is just great Thanks guys for like mentioning this. This is gonna be so fun. Just just for the simple fact that you guys will get to see some of the things I've actually done in real life. And just seeing how, just to, just for me, just to see if we can actually design it in, in a game is kind of cool. So that's that, and we'll do a sidewalk later. 
All right, so that is how the house is set up, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're going to set it up the way that it's actually painted in real life, okay? So in real life, uh, we need to go to, um, see, find surface finish in store. Uh, that's not what I wanna do. Uh, is it at the Q button? I forget, is it Q? Yeah, that's what I want. So I need to go in here and click on, let's see, we don't, we want paint colors. Uh, stucco, plaster, old plaster. No, that's not what we want. Um, let's get this. It is an ebony wood, so that's what it would look like. So it is a wood pattern. So that would go all around this point here, all the way around the house. This is the freeze board. So this is the board that goes under the overhang, right? So this would go like this, like that. And then we would have one up here as well. It goes across like that. Now the issue that we're gonna have here, oh, I actually got it right. So we'll just continue that down. You're not gonna see some of that cause it's gonna be under roof. So I'm not gonna worry about that. And then that's gonna go back that way. And then this one's gonna have one that comes across. We still got to do the covered porch, but we'll build that here in a minute. We'll get this like this. I tell, I tell you what we'll do. We'll complete the whole exterior of the house. And then uh, next episode, we'll do all the interior, including the basement, because that's going to be kind of fun. And then we'll have that go like this. And then all the way down to there. And then this comes across. And then we might have to fix that to make that a little bit deeper into the garage when we put that roof on there. I'm, I'm really afraid of the roof. <laughs> I'm afraid what's going to happen when we get to the roof part. But... Hopefully it's better. You guys have told me that it's actually easier. So let's grab this and that comes across all the way and we'll just take that all the way back. It'll die into the roof. All right, cool. So that's our freeze board. The freeze board's on. I missed that corner right there. All right, that's cool. All right, so the front of the house is, let's go back. Uh, the front of the house has uh, quite a bit of different materials on the I think we just used, um, let's go back. We just used wood and basically stone. So this whole section here was wood. And we used a um, surface, let's go to, I need to do this paint, right? So I need to get, uh, it was basically like this color here, but a little bit deeper. So I think I'm gonna use this. I think that'll be better. And then it's actually a siding material. So we're gonna click the siding material. And then we're going to make it a little bit taller like that. And I think that's good. So we're just going to make this all the same. I just want to see what this looks like first. Yeah, that's pretty close to what it actually looks like. So we're going to run that through here and then we'll do the jams. Whoops. I should have painted that black. We'll get that later. And then the side here actually comes all the way down. So this is all siding here. And then the only other parts that we have siding on is right here where the windows are. So we did this whole section here in siding like this. And then this whole section here comes down. Actually, it's just this section here. But the problem is, is we had these windows were only this tall, but I'm not going to worry about it for this, this particular instance. So let's do that and that and then get that little piece there. Okay. And then we'll go around here. And then this front didn't have any siding. And then this had siding that went like this and then this siding ran all the way down the side of the house here and then around the corner there we go so this part here was stone so we had natural like basically cultured stone so I, the only problem is we don't have one we can't i don't think you can change the color of this so that's the only issue that i have and i don't see anything else that would even resemble stone i don't believe we have any other uh this would be pretty close to what that stone actually looks like but i'm actually going to use just this stone that's up here um this one here because i think that's i think that's going to be the best one to you i didn't mean to do that crap we need to go like this right or go like this boop and then go like this so we need to get stone so yeah, that's the only stones that they're giving us. Yep, that's the only ones that they give us. So we'll go like this. I don't think you can change the color of this. I think we've tried and we're gonna go like this. So that's gonna be stone and that's gonna be stone. This whole entire thing is stone. So we're gonna go like this and then like this. We missed a piece of uh, foundation down there. And then this whole thing, we missed a piece of foundation down there too. <laughs> well, that's all stone, all right? And then uh, this whole section in here is stone, but I'm gonna actually make this one wider so it meets up there. So none of this, this here had stone on it. And then this was a big piece of wood, but we're actually just gonna go like this, like that. And then this whole thing here was stone. 
all the way down. This is stone. And then, the, whoops, oh crap. This is stone, stone. And then I just want to get this part here. And then over here, this little center section was all stone like that. And then this was all stone. This section here actually stuck out. So I might, uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and put stone here and stone here. This little section here actually stuck out. So if we go like this and go all the way down to the basement, that's what that actually did do. So we'll go like this and bam. So, and then we can continue painting. So this was all stone and then this was all stone all the way up. And then this was all stone, right? And then this is all stone. Uh, did we not paint the foundation? Oh, we just did, we, we added, I forgot. All right, so we need to watch that. All right, all right, cool. This is working out a lot easier than I thought. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. All right. And then this is all stone basically all the way down. Get the garage doors. I don't know if we can paint the garage doors. Did they, did, did they let us pick crap? Did they let us choose the color of the garage doors? I don't remember. I can go check though. And then the rest of the house is brick. So we'll go like this. And then let's go ahead and um, Q. And can I just pick this? Can I just copy? Copy is R. There we go. We'll get that. Okay, we got all that. And so I gotta get this over here. All right. And I think I missed a section over here. Yeah. And then there was another section too, right? Yep. Right there. Cool. So that's what that looks like so far. And then this is basically this, but we uh, just didn't use um, the siding. We used trim that was basically the same trim. So let's go ahead and press this. So it's basically wood. It's the same trim color though, which was this, right? Yep. And we didn't have a cut pattern on it. It's just, just panels. So we'll click that and then so that's what this is here. Basically all this is just wood like this. And then this was a piece of wood that came across. And then we did, we actually inset a piece of wood into the house that came across like this. All right, let's make sure we get the inside of the windows too. So we need to get all this done. Oops, let's come across the bottom there and then we'll go up the sides. Let's make sure we get all the jams like that. And then we'll go ahead and get these done in here too, like this. Uh, we'll run the stone on that one. This one would be wood and then this is wood. And then this is wood. All right, is that everything? Yep. And there, and then we'll go ahead and uh, copy that. And then we'll go ahead and get this piece here and that piece there. And we get all those jams done. I need to fix this here. So that stone would actually come through like that, like this, and then copy this. Whoops, come across like that. All right, I actually realized that we had the garage doors. The slab of the garage was actually one uh, too high. So these doors actually need to be moved down like this, like that, like that. Because they always, on your foundations of your garages, they always cut that section out or they don't cut it. They just don't pour that section and then they pour the slab through. So that's what that's supposed to look like. So I went and fixed that and then we'll get this painted, like get it painted correctly. And I went ahead and changed the material in the garage door so they should be that color and then we can paint the whole inside of the garage the correct color and then we got this slab outside that we can paint now boom and then this will be the driveway and we'll paint the side of that and then the side of this whoops like that all right and then we just need to paint that little section there and that little section there and that there and then all this and then all this on the back and then all this on the side <laughs> at least the painting is fast on this that's one good thing right and then i'll play with the grade later all right so that's done and then we'll have the sidewalk come across and it'll meet it all right cool so that's that all right so the brick is going to be basically this but oh that, they're not gonna let us do that are they so let's go like this and that's stone blocks we can't change that uh, here's bricks that's red bricks Hmm, uh, let's see. Well, they're not gonna let us change this, are they? Can't I get, uh, these are clay bricks. Okay, we can change the color of these. Let's rotate them back the way they were. I just don't like the grout on this. It's kind of tumbly. This is fine, we'll do this. Uh, and then we don't want it that color, like I said. So let's go ahead and do, let's get this and then let's get like a, that color grout, okay. And let's see what this looks like on here. Uh, that's pretty close to what it actually is, guys. It really is. That's really close to what the brick on the house actually looks like. All right, so we're gonna do this. Um, if you guys noticed, I had to take a pause there for a second. You guys didn't see it, but I went in and did an edging on the stone that's vertical. So just to make it look nicer, because there is actually a detail on top of the stone that's called a, basically it's a watershed where the siding comes down and it has to get over top of the stone. So you would typically have like a little 
two or three inch difference right there and that's what we would do so um, over here is what I was telling you guys where we would have something that's kind of different so right here pretty much like right here we'd probably drop this down like this and then I'd probably drop it down where does that meet over there so that meets right there so we'd probably drop this down like one more block and that's where it would step on the actually there's two there right yeah there's two there so we'd go like this and then we'd bring this back like that so that's how the foundation they would step the foundation and the brick would come all the way down i need to fix that grade though and then we'll get this whole side here i think we're going to get the outside completely done which would be great i just don't know we might play with the roof but I might have to play. I haven't even tried the roof yet. If it's really simple, then we'll do it. But I just want to see what it's going to be like. I don't know why they didn't grab. I want to see what it's going to be like first. And then you can see this over back here. Yep. So I think that's the outside. That's completely done. And we got railing across there. I need to fix that. It's looking good, guys. It's looking good. All right. So let's play with the roof real quick. So I just want to play with one particular section of the roof. And it is basically this section here. So how do we do roof? <laughs> uh, Build roof. So how do you build a roof? So I'm curious. You guys said it was easier. So the problem is I have a big overhang here on this house. Like this, right? and i need to actually get this roof like it's going to want to go through here which is what i don't want because i'm going to be able to see it right but you guys said that it wouldn't it wouldn't do this <laughs> you guys promised me that this was easier uh so it's a hip right all right so uh let's see i can pick it up and move it all right so if we can pick up and move it that's that's a whole different ball game all right so let's get rid of this uh let's sell this Oh, no, that's not what I'm going to do. Can I just sell it? All right, cool. All right, so uh, it is a hip roof. So let's start. Nope, and you start up one. Yes. Okay, so I need it to be like this. Let's let's go down here and see what we're see where we're at. All right, can bring it out to here and then out. Oh, it didn't come around the corner. Crap. Yeah, that's not going to work. Change style. It's an eight pitch hip, half hip. That's That's what it would be. Can I rotate it? edit um can i just rotate this thing yes you can there all right that'll work for now yeah that'll have to work for now <laughs> all right and then the, we got a hip over here too so let's go ahead and do another one so let's go in here and do another roof so it would start from here and basically here um actually no can, um cancel last i wish we could just i wish we could just undo and you guys probably know that there's an undo button and i just don't know what it is but that's okay. Sell that. All right. I need to... Um, how are we going to do this? Because I need to get into that roof. Ah, uh, geez. Okay. Let's just go like this. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's do this. I need a block that comes out like this. And then like this. All right. We'll start from there with our roof. No, I want it on top. Oh, my God. Why, why is it... I want it up here. So if I do that, I got to have a block on the top. And then I can do my roof. That's weird. All right. We want to do this. There. That's what we want to do right there. All right. I need to go down, though. I need to see where we're at. All right, we need to go right there. Why is it? It's like a half a block down. Um, eight pitch. All right, let's move it up. Snap to grid. Oh my god. Why is it? This isn't as easy as I thought it would be, guys. You guys were like, this is the coolest thing ever. Why did that not attach to that? Is it because of these? I needed these, though, in order to tell it where to freaking go. Right? Yeah. Like, uh, otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get it. I'm going to have to start it, like, inside the roof. I just wish you could change the color of the roof. I mean, seriously, like, uh, at least let us change the style. Like, can I pick? These are all white. This is the material. Confirm. <laughs> can I change the color, please? All right. That's fine. All right. If that works there, I mean, that wasn't, like... It's not that bad, but it is pretty stupid, all right? So um, I'm going to have to have a roof. This is going to need to come up still even more because I got this roof over here, which is the same as that roof. This roof comes all the way through the house. The problem is it's going to go through the walls, right? And I can't, I can't delete the roof, can I? I don't think so. I don't have like a, can I delete part of a roof? No, no, won't let us. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's just, uh, let's keep trying this then. So we almost need to build this first is what I'm getting at is what I'm, is what I'm guessing. Like we almost need to build the sulfate part first and then build the roof on it like this. Right? Yeah. We almost need to do that. That's how we're going to do it like that. Oh crap. So all the way back to here. And then this needs to be an eight. 
All right, confirm. All right, and then we just need to change that. So that did that work? No, it didn't. How do you guys build freaking roofs on this game? This is stupid. Um, move. Grid snapping? Yes. Ignore collisions? Yes. All right, so I just need to move it up, please. Boom. One mutt. Did that work? It did not work. Can I move it up one more? Did it move it up? It did move it up. All right, so we just need to get rid of this. This ain't right. You know what's going to suck about this? It's going to remove all my wall, and I got to redo all my freaking walls. See? All right, guys, I got the roof on here. <laughs> this is a mess. So there is a way to get this to work, and uh, I actually need to fix that. But you can actually, this is three roofs. So there's a roof, and you can see the next roof beside it, and then there's a roof here. Uh, that's the best as you can do on this game, but from a distance you can't really tell. I mean, it's pretty close, right? But uh, that's the only way I could do this. So this is three different roofs. The, the ridges almost line up, and then back here I had like a hard time getting this corner to fill up. So I just got some of these blocks here. You can't really tell the difference there. And basically what I did is I just filled this in. And that's how it is in the real house. Um, that has like a little hip return on it right there. And then this is all filled in. So I got that all done. That's all brick there. I got this all done. This actually has like a little bit of a taper to it. And then we had a little bit issue here in the front because the roof is actually coming down here in the entryway. So we just dropped the ceiling. That's not how it really is in the house in the real house and then i think that's everything like everything else looks great in here we got we have to go in here and fix all these walls though so let's get this here like that and maybe go to there i just want one there and then we just need this to go across like this and then fix this here so next episode guys we will uh com completely do the inside of the house and what i might do is just go ahead and paint all the walls white before the next episode and then you guys can help um, watch, I guess. You can't really do anything. But you guys can uh, watch me finish this. And then uh, if you're interested in this actual house, as long as you don't like share it on the mods page, I would be more than willing to put it up on the Discord so you guys can actually grab it. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Just put it in the comments if you'd like to see it. And um, you know what? That front entryway is screwing me up because it's off-centered. I couldn't do anything about it. Uh, but yeah, so this is the house. So here's here's the house. It's done. And if I show you the rendering, here's the rendering. Looks exactly like what we did. I mean, there's a couple of little flaws that we have, but pretty much it's the same house, guys. It's got the same entryway, got the same windows. This roof here has got a little bit skewed up. I think I know now how to do this uh, if we were to do it again. I think if I did this roof first, then put this one on, it would have probably worked. So that's what we'll probably have to do. And, oh, I don't want to do that. I want to go like this. There we go. And we'll, But we'll just do it like this. It's fine. It doesn't have to be exactly alike. And so if we go around and look at the grade, it all falls nicely. There's our back porch. Everything's turned out nicely. So yeah, there's our house. So yeah, next episode we will uh, do the inside, which will be cool. So we're going to call this the Forest Ranch. Don't worry about the grade. Don't worry about the driveway going off the cliff. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for suggesting this as a, as a way of doing houses. Um, now that I know that we can do this, this was a little bit more complicated roof than most of the houses I've designed. Just because of the long overhangs and you got multiple layers. Uh, we might do one that's a more traditional house next time, but um, yeah, I'll let, uh, what I'll probably end up doing is uh, the more people I get on the Discord channel, I'll actually have a poll on the Discord channel and I'll show a couple of houses and then you guys can pick which house you would like to see me do inside the game. So I think that would be kind of fun. So, but uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, just join the crew and uh, have fun with me. And then leave any comments or suggestions if you'd like in uh, underneath. And then um, hit the like button. That's most important. Just lets me know I'm doing a good job for you guys. And I will see you next episode, guys.